Hey everyone! Oh, let's, let's hey everyone! Uh, my name is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker. Uh, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to multiply binary. It's very simple. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, if you like this video or you find it useful, please be sure to click subscribe and share it to all of your friends or whoever. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So first, for prerequisite, oh, where'd my marker go? What the? Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, that's a close one. All right. So, prerequisites. You need to understand the basics of binary, but I mean, it's not like you don't have to go study it for like 20 years. So, I'll just explain it right now. You need to understand the place values. When you have, so let's say you have the number, um, let's say, like one, two, three, four ones. Well, each place value, it just multiplies by two. So, you start with one, two, four, eight. You add those together, you get eight plus four, 12 plus two. Uh, 14 plus 1, 15. This is how you represent 15. So if you have something like this, well, you know that's 16 because it's one more than this. So, I mean, yeah, just basic uh, place values of binary. If you don't understand that and you want to get more into that, go check out my introduction to binary video. You also need to understand a little bit about adding binary. So, for example, if you have to add this, well, you need to know that when you add when you add this, you have um, one zero. Like that's basic math and binary. So basically, I'll teach you all of that real super quick, but I'm not going to go super in depth. If you have zero plus zero, you get zero. You, you uh, write a zero. If you have zero plus one or one plus zero, you have, you write a one, so you have one. If you have one plus one, what you do is you write a zero and you carry one. So, I mean, if you, uh, when we get in math, you'll understand carrying is when you take it up to the next placement. We'll, we'll explain that later. If you have uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, then you have to write a 1, and then you carry a, uh, yeah, you carry a 1. Finally, if you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, what you want to do is you carry two 1s, and write a zero. So yeah, which um, basically you, you write a zero and then you carry two ones. That's that's basically all you ever need to know for adding uh, binary, and we'll be explaining that once we have to do that when, with our math problem. So let's first see how we do math in decimal and it converts to uh, binary almost exactly. So. Binary, I mean um, uh, decimal, let's multiply 10 times 10. It's very simple. Basically, you just take the, um, I think it's the multi multiplicand, I think is what's called. I don't know. Take that, multiply it by each digit in the multiplier, and you get 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 1, 0. Then, for the next placement, you have to move everything over a place marker. So you add a 0, 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. Then you just add. This is where we have to learn how to add for the binary. So 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 is a 1. So our final answer is 100. So what we have is 10 plus 10, or sorry, 10 times 10 equals 100. This is in decimal. Well, the same exact concept applies to binary. And you, you don't get the same result, but you do it the same way. So now if we're in binary, what we have is uh, we have 2 times 2 equals 4. You see that? It's the same. You, you do everything the same as normal mathematics, which is really awesome. It's very simple. So here, let me try another example just to show you the process. Uh, I wrote an example down here. Let's see what it was. All right, let's go. 1101 times 0011. Alright, so for our sake, we can figure out what these are just to make sure we got it right. We got 1 plus 2, so this is going to be 3. Now I got 1 plus 4 plus 8. So 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So this is 13 in decimal. This is 3 in decimal, so our final answer should be 39. So what we should have is 39 at the end. Let's try multiplying this.
We start right. here. One times one, one. One times zero, zero. One times one, one. One times one, it's one. All right, then we go to the next one. We add a zero because we always have to go up the placement for each time, for each decimal we, we scoot over a, uh, a place marker. So one times one, one. One times zero, zero. One times one, one. Oops, kind of got thrown off there. One. One times one is one. So here is what we have. And then we just have to add this together. One plus one is one. One, I'm sorry, one plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. Now when you have two ones, remember you have to carry a one and write a zero. So zero, one. Do the same thing here. Drop a zero, carry a one. So this is our final answer. Now, our, we can figure out if this is right to see if it's 39. We have 1 plus 2 plus 4. No 8, no 16, plus 32. So we have 32 plus 4. That would be 36 plus 2, 38 plus 1, 39. So this is, in fact, the correct answer to this problem. So now let's take a look at this just so we can simplify even farther. Uh, we're always multiplying by 1. What that means is we're always just going to be copying the multiplier down here. You can see we have the segment here and we have the segment here. We're always multiplying by 1 so we're never going to get a number large like that unless we carry a 1 as we did here. I mean think of it like logically. If you multiply by 1 you're not going to get more somehow. Like if you have three girlfriends and you multiply each one by one, you're still going to have three girlfriends. Which makes no sense, and your wife's probably not going to be too happy. But, I don't even know what... Anyways, you always copy... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you're always copying this down. So let's try a more complex example to... This will be our final example, and we'll illustrate this point. But right before I do that real quick, I'll just show you this again. 1 times this, we just copy it down here. This just goes down here. Then we add a 0, and then we just move it down here. We get 1, 0, 1, 1. Add those together, and we finish the problem, and boom, we're done. Pretty simple. All right, let's try a really more complex answer or question. Let's go with, I wrote this one down, all right. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1. This is what we are multiplying. This is really simple. Like I said, when we multiply by 1, we just copy this and move it down. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Yeah. And then we just add a, add a place value because we're going up to the, the 2's place. Copy it. One zero one zero one one. Now we're just going up to the fourth place. One zero one zero one one. And the eighth place. One zero one zero one one. Boom! It's like that simple. And then all you have to do is add these together. It's like so easy if you like really think about it, like how it works, rather than just mindlessly following directions. Then you can figure this out like really easily. Because all we have to do is copy this number and then like match it up with the place value to get for each one of the ones in the multiplicand or whatever it's called. It's that simple. Sorry if I'm acting weird. I'm past my bedtime. All right. So then we just add these up. One. One plus three zeros, obviously one. One plus three zeros, one. One plus one. Well, we have to carry a one. Write a zero. 1, 2, 3, so now we carry a 1, write a 1. 1, 2, 3, so we carry a 1, write a 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, so we have 4. What we do is we write a 0, and we carry two 1s. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what we do is we write a 0 and carry two 1s. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Once again, write a 0, carry two 1s. 1, 2, 3, carry a 1, and write a 1. So, that, like I said, you have to be able to do the mathematic, the, the addition. And I did do an addition video over binary, too, if you want to check that out. But, or you just check out what I told you at the beginning of this video. It's probably way simpler. This is our final answer. And if you want, you can really go figure it out. Um, 
if that's correct or not. I think I have the answer here. Yeah, one one zero 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 one one zero one one. Yeah, so that's the answer. That is how you multiply binary. Do you have any questions? Oh, and another thing, another simple way to do it is just take this value, like figure out what this value is. All right, let's let's make it easier. Let's say we have this. Well, we can figure this out really easy. We have one plus four, so five. Five. Let's get rid of all this. And then we have one plus two plus four plus eight, so eight plus four. This is a 15, so yeah, 15. So then we just multiply the decimal version because we're all used to multiplying in decimal, hopefully. So that's 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Or an easier way to think of that is uh, 150 would be times 10. And you have half of that, which is 75 because you're multiplying by five. But yeah, that's off topic. So yeah, that's, that's another easy way to do it, is just convert it to decimal. And then once you have 75, you can figure out the binary representation of 75. So those are the best ways to do multiplication in binary. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment, send me a Facebook message, or a... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, be sure to subscribe. Like my, like my video, share it with your nerd friends. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Just gotta stop my camera here. Come on. Ah.